morning everyone today i'm gonna bring you along for our day so it's currently about 20 past 11 steve and i got up about 11 we've been going to bed late and getting up um pretty late to be honest that's kind of like our routine so it's not the best but never mind um we just are struggling to get back to like a 12 o'clock bedtime i suppose when you have nothing to get up for right so I'm having a slice of toast. I always like to wait for my toast to cool before I put the butter on it. So I get tastes so much better that way. Um, and then we're gonna go out a walk. A beautiful day, like absolutely gorgeous out there. And we did agree last night that we would get up and go straight out a walk because we've been kind of like putting off the walks and not doing them as much. Um, whereas when this all started two weeks ago, we were quite good at getting out a walk. So that's the plan. I feel like my glasses are constantly dirty. They drive me insane. Even when I wipe them like every five minutes, they're filthy again. Um, oh, and on that note, I have ordered some new glasses, so they should come this week. So I get my glasses from a brand called Iola. The reason for that was because my friend Hannah at uni, she started working for them. Um, have I got my scanner here? No. She started working for them, so I went in to see them, loved them, bought a pair, and since then I've just been hooked. So the shape that I have are the Bell. I've had these for over two years now. The, the lens on them is pretty scratched as well. And I'm just kind of sick of seeing them on my face. So I decided that I would treat myself to a new pair. Um, so I've gone with the Bell again because I know that shape works. Uh, but I've picked a tur turquoise pattern. Is that what they call it? I don't know. It's like a it's like a pattern. Like it's not like a block colour. Well, I suppose this kind of has a pattern in it as well. A little bit so it's kind of like that but um brown and almost like clear like they're beautiful i love them so anyway i'm gonna eat my slice of toast finish off these brews i need to put some milk in them and then stephen and i are gonna go for our walk i'll bring you along for that we're gonna we've decided where we're gonna go and um, it's just obviously near a flat but you walk out and it takes you along past some lambs <laughs> So I'm very excited to see the new baby lambs. I've made my cup of tea and I'm being naughty and I'm having a biscuit. Oh, it's upside down. I'm having a little custard cream. These are Stephen's favourite. And yes, I always dip my custard cream or my Becky in. We have started a new jigsaw in our living room, although we haven't got very far. As you can see, we're just working on the edges at the moment. But this is our little balcony that very much needs cleaned. But if we just move past that, it's been such a saviour for us because obviously with being in a flat, you can't get outside and we're not supposed to unless we're going for like a walk. Um, so this is amazing to be able to step out in the fresh air. We have a hammock as well, which is kicking about somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, so we bought a hammock from Decathlon, which goes like that ties onto the end pole so we'll show you it later when it's on because we will put it back on today and yeah we just sit out on the balcony in our hammock enjoying it the other night I was enjoying the stars and the moon it was beautiful and Stephen bought me bought me no he brought me a hot water bottle but right now I am just enjoying my cup of tea and I will probably go out and stand on the balcony um I didn't want to film it there because there's someone from the other flat opposite having like a smoke down outside her flat and having her cup of tea and I just thought I mm, don't really want for her to be able to see my camera but anyway this is life this is what I do in the morning I get up I get really excited about my cuppa and I get even more excited if I can stand outside on the balcony soaking in the sun drinking my tea so it is 10-4 the day has disappeared so I might make this like a two day vlog thing. Stephen and I went a walk and I forgot to take the battery for this camera. I was charging it and then I forgot to put it in so I wasn't able to get any clips of that but it was a really nice walk. We went out for about an hour and a half maybe, an hour and 20 minutes. Um, and then came back, made us some lunch which I'll insert because I took a clip of that. We like to use up the sausages when we have some leftover from dinner um, and we have like a brunch with it. So I have one, Stephen always has a couple. He's the bigger meter, meter eater, well meat eater. Um, I've got a couple of hash browns, a potato waffle, a fried egg and fry light and the mushrooms are done in fry light as well. So we had that and then I've literally spent an hour doing the dishes because we had left them from last night and then we had all the pans from lunch today so it was just like a massive job um, and I like to wipe all 
all the surfaces when I do it as well. So basically I did them. I've made myself a glass of juice. I'm in the living room. It's gloriously sunny, as you can see. Stephen is on the hammock. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to sit down. I'm actually going to phone my sister because she tried to call me this morning when I wasn't even out of my bed. So I'm going to give her a call back, see how she's doing. And not too much else planned for the rest of the day. I might tackle some of this jigsaw. Um, but yeah, the priority was getting those dishes done definitely because they were awful. This is a really embarrassing chair, by the way, which you will have seen in the background. It's my ironing pile. There's a blanket under there. There's Stephen's uni stuff. An extension cable, tissues, a piece of paper, I think that's Stevens, and her camping chairs. So yeah, apologies if you see this in the background, it's a bit of a mess, but I feel like everyone has like a chair where they dump things, right? Um, I need to get some sort of ironing basket or something, or I just actually need to do the ironing. So here we are. It's a little hammock, you know, we can like hide in it if we want, kind of. <laughs> And uh, I can block out the sun, but the sun isn't actually hitting my eyes at the moment because this is like stopping it, which is amazing. Um, but this is it, we put a little blankie in it and we just get cosy and I've brought out my book because, to be honest, I haven't really been making a lot of time to read, which is disappointing me. So I could easily have brought my phone out here and sat and watched some YouTube videos, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to sit and read my book and I've left my phone in the house. So, yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. Stephen is about to make some dinner. It's about half past five. Um, I never made it to the shower today, which wasn't ideal. It wasn't the plan. Like, I went, the plan was this week, Monday to Friday, I was going to make sure every day I got showered and did my makeup. But because we went for a walk as soon as we got up and then lunch after and everything just kind of escalated, I never got round to it. I'm trying to be a little bit more kind with myself because I think it's very easy to be like, you never did this, you never did that, and to sort of, um, what's the word? Like to be cruel to ourselves. Second, I'm having a really deep, meaningful chat right now. Shut the door. No. Oh, is it cold? Yeah, shut the door then. Thanks. No, don't lock it. Oh, Stephen, no, you can't. Because of the sun. Okay. If you shut that door, the sun reflects on me. Does it? Look. <laughs> That's not funny. It's quite a blast back on you, isn't it? That's not nice. Well, you went, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You thought you just been shot. Kicking the din dins. Recording. Yeah. Hi, folks. <laughs> and this is what happens when Stephen gets involved with a movable ham. A ham hock. What? <laughs> oh my god, babe, you're actually going to knock me out in a minute. <laughs> what I was saying was I just think that I have been being a bit cruel to myself and like setting too many goals, and then when I don't accomplish them, I get really upset and, well, not really upset, but upset down about myself thinking oh you can't even do the basics like get showered and get dressed you know all these negative thoughts that we all have and I, and I don't think it helps that on social media people are being so productive and that's amazing to see like do you know what I mean like your workout looks incredible like I'd love to just have the motivation to do that or your empire biscuits or your scones look phenomenal but like that's not the head's place that I'm in and I think like that's okay. I don't think we'll have to be the same. I think we're all entitled to handle this and go about this in our own ways. Um, so I'm just saying to you today that it's okay to go at the pace that you want to go at, to do things as you want to do them and yeah, try and set a little bit of structure or a, you know, one goal a day, whatever you, you think is going to work for you, but don't be too hard on yourself. I hope that just, I don't know, encouraging some people and send you all some love because that's kind of how I was feeling today and I, I just have been feeling guilty because I haven't showered and I'm like Sophie come on so yeah I think I will sit here enjoy this sunshine the last of the the day before dinner I'll have dinner and then I'll go for a nice long hot shower and I won't do my makeup but I will wash my hair and I'll feel fresh so that's the plan basically um I hope you're all doing well this is just such an odd situation isn't it and you know it's not easy for anyone it's really windy um anyway <laughs> i'm gonna go hide in my hammock and read my book close it with my blanket because it's getting a little bit chilly 
one last thing before I read my book. This is my view. How amazing is this? And it's really, really nice when you lie out here at night and you see like the stars and the moon. It's incredible if it's a really nice, clear night. It's okay. I'm going to get a little bit of reading done. I have showered and my hair is dry and I've basically just parted it and I'm just going to leave it to naturally dry until we go to bed and I'll style it in the morning for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm sitting here with a little cup of tea. I made myself a cup as you can see here, although I'm having to drink it quickly because I put a bit too much milk in it and it's getting cold quickly. And then I have a tonics tea cake. If you don't know what this is, you've never lived. Let's just say that. It's a fine, fine, fine Scottish treat. I am going to sit, drink my tea, I'm just in my pyjamas now, um, and I'm going to do some of this jigsaw. So basically I finished off getting the outside today, it's good to go. So now I need to just start to separate this into like colours and parts of the jigsaw. This is the jigsaw, but it's on this box, so I can only show you it like this. But anyway, I'm going to separate all this and start on, I think I'm going to start on the house. I feel like that would be the most logical thing to do, like the orange part with the, the house and stuff. So, yeah, that's the plan. I'm just going to do a bit of that and I guess I'll, uh, I'll film a bit of that for you. So I've pulled out all of the bits for the house and the roof and now I'm just going to attempt to do something with them. I was kind of sorting them into piles but I feel like this is just a big massive mix. I'm not really sure what to do with these parts. So basically I'm going to do the roof first and then attempt to do some of this. I might work with this as my middle part and work around it. Um, but yeah, let's give it a bash and see how far we can get. So I have managed a fair amount, but we've basically realised that this cardboard isn't going to work because nothing's staying together because it's too bumpy. So we're improvising, we went looking for something else and I found this, my picture that used to live above my bed um, in my parents' house and it was never put up here because we just never really got around to it. So basically going to transfer this onto that, we're just going to be very careful with it when we're working with it. Um, but yeah, very excited to get this moved over and then crack on with this. Morning everyone, um, it's the next day now, so it is Wednesday the 8th April. I am sitting against one of the chairs in the living room which is next to the jigsaw and I'm working on the jigsaw. And Stephen brought me a lovely cup of tea which is what I'm going to have. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to be real with you right now, I'm going to have a couple of digestives. I am going to have a nice bowl of porridge but I'll have that probably about maybe half 11 because I'm going to phone my gran at 11 and see how she's doing. I haven't been in touch with her for a while. We don't tend to do phone calls because I normally go and visit her. So my gran is um, the gran who lives on the farm. But um, obviously we haven't been visiting because that's not been allowed. And yeah, I just want to check in and see how she is, have a little chat with her. Um, she also lost her husband, so it was my grandpa that passed away, so it must be kind of difficult for her now being on her own, although she has people in um, every day because my family cook for her, so we're always there, which is amazing. Um, but anyway, I am going to sit and drink my tea. Let's have a first sip of tea because it's always the best, isn't it? Oh, so good. What is that about a cup of tea in the morning? It's just amazing. So yeah, I'm going to sit and do a little bit more of this jigsaw for 15 minutes until I get my grand phone. It's another absolutely amazing day. I don't know if you can see this, it's gorgeous. We've still got the hammock out so we can do some lying in that today. I'm just filming. Oh, is that what you're sorry? I thought you were filming me. Bye! <laughs> so I gave my wee grand phone, she's doing okay. We had like a 20 minute chat. Um, and a wee catch up and I think she was chuffed with the phone call so that's good um, and it was nice to hear her voice and just chat about stuff, just anything. Um, so I forgot to show you what I made for breakfast but I'm having porridge, it's all mashed up now with banana, cinnamon and peanut butter. I'm sitting eating that and I am back at the jigsaw. It's looking good though. Good afternoon everyone, it's still Wednesday and what time is it now? 
it's quarter to five actually the day's flown by today um so i got showered i got dressed i put on my perfume i put on some jewelry just like these wee things are helping me to get through the day so yeah basically made a good effort today i'm chuffed with myself and i've put on some makeup which is quite unusual but it's nice to do that um i've got on all my usual and then i've just put a little bit of mascara on my top lashes um i feel like that always just opens my eyes a lot more but i don't necessarily put it on the bottom so yeah i am currently editing um oh. <laughs> basically this camera got full earlier when i was doing the jigsaw because i had filmed so much so i've uploaded it all onto my macbook um and i'm currently oh can't get this to sit I'm currently just editing it basically so this is what we have this is the situation we're in um i've edited it up to this point so that's good because this doesn't need to be live until friday but yeah i don't really know what else to put in we're nearly at like 20 minutes so i feel like maybe i should leave it here um i'll maybe just film a little bit more later i'll show you what we have for tea i hope this is reasonably exciting i'm really sorry there's really not all that much to do obviously at the moment but i've been really enjoying people's isolation vlogs and seeing what they're up to and stuff so i hope you've enjoyed this one now that i've finished editing i'm gonna just shut this down for now and i think i'll do a little bit more of my jigsaw which is looking good by the way i'm gonna show you it look at this i got the house like the house is done so that's amazing so i need a new action plan I'm thinking the brick path next with the grass and then we'll move on to flower parts. So I'm going to sift through this, don't ask, this is just helpful at times. <laughs> I'm going to sift through this and pull out all of this stuff and then I can make a start. So we're about to have some dinner. So we just made a jar curry from Lidl. Um, but it looks really nice, it looks really creamy. It's a tikka masala and we've got rice with it. I made far too much rice as per usual, can never get my amount right. But I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm pretty hungry. So yeah, we're going to go and eat it. Um, we normally have naan or pop doms with it. But we can get any at the shops. But I think Stephen's going to have some bread and butter with his. And I'll just happily eat as it is. It is later on on the Wednesday evening. Um, I'm making Stephen and I a little brew. So I've poured the water and I'm just letting it have a few minutes to be ready basically. I painted my nails. You can probably see they're like a copper colour. It's um, a Poundland nail varnishes. They're honestly some of the best nail varnishes. Um, and this colour is amazing. So yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. I feel like I need to start doing like these things again for me. Because they just make me feel quite human. And very much myself. Stephen is playing the PlayStation. He's playing Lara Croft. Um, and I am on my laptop. I've got his Beats headphones on. And I'm basically just watching YouTube videos. Which is going to be me for the evening. Um, so yeah, I think I'll leave this here. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it's been a little bit of escapism for you and it's taking you away from everything that's going on for a wee while and I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And I'll see you very soon with another video. I will be back in a week's time with, who knows, a surprise video. Um, I do want to start doing some decluttering so maybe that sort of thing or like a tea talk or something. Um, but I'll see you all in a week. Take care folks and I'll see you soon. Bye.